So I do a lot of work with Southern Yellow Pine, and the cheapest way I can get it is at big box stores. I can get it in construction lumber. It's usually two by material. As you can see though, I tend to struggle with it often. Um, I don't know if it's the way that it's dried. It's probably dried too fast, and there's a lot of internal stresses, which usually ends up pinching the blade. Um, and then, as you can see me struggling with it here, I'm actually pushing down on the back end once it binds the blade to uh, get it off the blade. So after a couple tries on one end, I decide to flip it over and try the other end because sometimes one end is a little bit more stressed than the other. So I flip it around and give it a shot on this end. And as you'll see, I don't even get you know, halfway through the blade before it starts binding. So, I keep trying. And this goes on for quite a while. Each pass I'm nibbling away about an eighth of an inch of the wood trying to find a spot where it'll open up. So I get to this point and I notice that it's still closing up on me and I'm having a harder time getting it off the blade when it binds. So I think for a second, and I come up with this idea, so I, I push it back into where it is in the cut, turn off the table saw, go and grab a makeshift wedge, hammer the wedge in there just to open up the kerf a little bit to give me room to make the cut. So. Once I struggle getting the board back on the blade, the cut goes relatively smooth until about at this point when this happens. There's so much energy and stress in that wood that it basically exploded as I was cutting it. And so I set it up and I get the camera in close. You can see basically how it tore itself apart. Basically just pushing against itself there. So you gotta be very careful when you're working with this wood that comes from the big box stores. Um, it's not very well conditioned. Um, and so there's a lot of built up stress. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe for future videos. I try to get out one video a week, whether it be a vlog or a project. Um, I hope that you stick around and take a look at some of my other videos, and I hope to see you next time.